In Gisoro, the old East African board game is played in Rwanda and Burundi. In Uganda, the same game is called Umwezo. The game has two players. It can last from minutes to hours, even days, depending on how evenly skillful the players are. A variation of the same Mankala family game is Bao, which is played in Tanzania. The game board has 4 times 8 pits and 64 seats. The players play their own territory of the two rows closest to them. The rules of Igisoro and Umwezo are almost identical. Regional or local rules are common, but the goal is all the same to capture the seeds of the opponent. With following instructions you will learn the rules of both Igisoro and Ombuezo. More instructions and game tactics are to be found on the World Wide Web. Igisoro and Ombuezo is all about picking the seeds of your opponent so he or she no longer can make a move by the rule. The rules are simple, but the game can be very challenging in terms of general game tactics, correct timing, speed of counting, capability to quickly analyze the consequences of your moves, foreseeing the moves of your opponent, and of course avoiding your own mistakes. These game rules are about 1. How to start, the position of the seeds. 2. The turns, how to move around the game board. 3. The picks, how to pick the seeds of your opponent. And 4. The completion of the game, how the game ends. First something about the board itself. As you can see, the board has 8 pits in 4 rows. The game can have only 2 players, one on each side of the board. For the purpose of these instructions, we can call them A and B. A plays the territory of the red pits, and B plays the green pits. A plays the red, B plays the green. In this segment, you will learn how to set up your game. Only experience will teach you the best setup for your game plan. The Igisoro rules allow the players to spread their seeds freely and independently according to players' liking and initial strategy. He or she can spread the 32 seeds like in these two examples. Keep in mind these are just examples. Any other setup is allowed as long as both players have their 32 seeds on the board. The Omweso setup rules are slightly different. Before the game, the seeds are placed like this. Four seeds in each of the eight pits. This is to ensure that both players have 32 seeds on the board. After this initial setup, the one who makes the first move is chosen by a lot. Let's say player A was chosen, and he now arranges his seeds according to liking and strategy, as described earlier. For example, like this. Once player A has done his setup, player B arranges his seeds, again according to best opening strategy. There are no restrictions on how the players arrange their seeds as long as both have 32 seeds on their own side of the board. In this segment, you will learn how to pick and sow your seeds around the game board. The rules are strict. The player can only pick seeds from his side, his own territory of 16 pits. He can only pick seeds from one pit and only if the pit contains two or more seeds. If there is only one seed in the pit that cannot be picked and moved. The direction of sowing the seeds is always counterclockwise. Some exceptions to this basic rule will soon be described. In the following examples, both players have decided to set up their seeds like this. A was by a lot chosen to start, and he is the one to make the first move. He can pick from any of the pits on his side of the board. As he has four seeds in each pit, he has to pick 
four seeds. He now sows the seeds by dropping one seed in the next four pits. The player must empty the pit from all seeds, none can left behind. He has to start the sowing from the first pit next to the one he emptied, one and one only in each pit. As player A dropped his last seed in an empty pit, the turn goes to player B. A player has to make a move, regardless of how undesirable it would be for his game. In this example, player B first picks four seeds from the far right pit. Again, he has to pick all four and seed one in each of the following four pits. As the last pit was not empty, player B has to pick the five seeds and continue the move until he has dropped the last seed in an empty pit. This often requires several moves. Following the principle of one seed per pit, player B continues the move with the five seeds, one in each, starting from the next pit to the one he just emptied. The direction is always counterclockwise. When player B has dropped his last seed in an empty pit, the turn goes back to A. You now know the rules about picking and moving counterclockwise until the last seed is dropped in an empty pit. In this segment, you will learn how to capture the seeds of your opponent. There are three basic requirements for a capture. In this example, it is player A's turn to make the next move. Number one, player B has to have at least one seed in each two pits, as shown here. Number two, Player A has to have at least one seed in the pit on the same line. This example gives you the visual description. Keep in mind that all three pits have to be next to each other without any gap on A's side. The more seeds the player B has in his two pits, the better the capture is. Again, at least one seed in the two pits on B's side and at least one seed on A's side. The third requirement is that A, in his next move, or sequence of moves, drops the last seed in the pit aligned with the two on B's side. Instead of picking the two seeds from his own pit, player A can now pick all the seeds from B's two pits. In his next move, A will use the seeds he just captured from B. This was the initial situation when A captured the seeds. Keep this in mind, as it will be the very same starting position for dropping the seeds he took from B. Let us assume that with these seeds, A will again capture more seeds from B. Every time, and as long as he makes a capture on this very same turn, the starting position remains the same. With the seeds A just captured from B, he drops one in each pit. As described before, the player continues until the last seed is dropped in an empty pit. The end result of this sequence of moves will look like this. If this sounded complicated, pay close attention to the game you will see at the end of these instructions. The player may sow the seeds clockwise if, and only if, it results in direct capture at the first stop. The reverse move is possible only from the two or four leftmost pits, depending on what rules the players are applying. The Ijisoda rules allow reversing from the two pits shown here. The Ongweza rules allow reversing from the four pits shown here. If the player during his normal counterclockwise move drops his last seed in any of the pits just shown, he can continue, if he wants, by reversing and if that move results in direct capture. In this example, player B decides to make his next move by picking up the six seeds from a pit that will allow him to reverse as the move results in direct capture. You remember the rule of at least one seed in the two pits of the opponent 
and at least one seed in the player's own pit. Player B is allowed to reverse and to capture the seeds. In this example, the total number of captured seeds is 6, but player B cannot continue by reversing again, as it would not result in a new capture. Therefore, he has to continue with a normal counterclockwise move, starting from the pit next to the one where the first move started. There are three ways to win Igisora and Umbuesa. The normal way of winning the game is the situation where the opponent no longer can make a move by the rules. The second way to win is called Akakiala. The victory is about capturing seeds of the opponent in two separate turns and before he or she has captured any seeds. The third mode of victory is called Emitwebiri. Shortly, it is about capturing seeds from both ends of the board during the same turn. The best way to describe this victory is to use an example. It is player A's turn. He picks the three seeds and moves counterclockwise, dropping the last seed in the farmost left pit. He captures the seeds from player B and continues his turn, starting from the pit next to the one he emptied in the first place. The number of captured seeds brings him to the far most right pit, resulting again in capture. A Mitwebira victory requires that the two captures take place during the same turn. And a Mitwebiri one more time. Picking the seeds, capture, continue with the four seeds, Continue with the three seeds and capture. Both ends empty. 